Good day, my farming friends. Maybe I should say good evening to you. Hope you're all doing well. Having a good week so far. I'm just going to load up my little homemade VT sprayer. Right here up on the trailer. Uh, oh, crap. I could have done better there. I could have done better. Oh, falling off the edge. I tell you what, this thing is durable. That's a durable sprayer, I tell you. Holy buckets. I have been a uh, spraying machine down here. I think I kind of have everything all figured out. Like my good buddy Jacinta said, um, works down at Central Egg Consulting. Had a little visit with Jacinta B and said, hey, I got a plan. She said, well, I hope you got a plan. Do you have a plan? Well, I hope we got a plan. But we gave up the plan. We came up with a plan, and I think it sounds pretty good. So I've been doing a bunch of contracting work. Matter of fact, I did, let's see. I did, well, i got to be honest with you, 82, 82 and 83, I actually didn't do. They just said, hey, you're done. And 103 I did, 104, 105, three fields up here I did. So we can actually collect, 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 collect. So i got to run down to field 80 and do the last one tonight before it gets too dark. Hop into the old Ford, put up the ramps, take a little cruise down there. Up here in the corner... It's a little hard to get to. You got you got to go a little roundabout driving. But I like that little roundabout driving. It's good for the soul. You get to see the countryside. You get to kind of experience um, some new and exciting things. And the Ford pickup truck. I tell you what, the Ford pulls this sprayer not too bad. You got to be careful on speed though. You get you get her revved up and then she kind of goes all over the place. But so far so good. So the plan here, which I'll show you in a little bit. I think between Jacinta B and myself, we got it figured out. We got it figured out. I have a plan. It's going to take a bunch of money. With the contract work I just did, I got $340,492 in the bank. That's no bad. Almost 8.30 at night here. We'll have this little contract. We'll have to do 80 is not real big. So we sat down and we were kind of thinking about fields that would be good, good for us, you know, for the farm. And I've been kind of, oh, crap. And I've been kind of doing uh, contract work for fields that I'm interested in purchasing so i think i gotta figure it out i think i gotta figure it out matter of fact i'll just show you now here uh pull up the uh the old map hole there so right down here is the main farm and 134 i think uh sophie yeah sophie's got that cultivated and then planted corn in 134 12 has been cultivated but nothing's planted there yet the tractor and the cultivator is still sitting there. I was up doing con spraying contracts on 103, 104, 105. And now I'm going over here to field 80, the little blinking light there. I'm going to do a uh, fertilizing contract on that. The two that I 80, 283 were the two that, <laughs> they were just so nice to me. Nitro Dad Property Management gave me a bonus and said, hey, you can just have those contracts. So that's where we sit. Uh, matter of fact, let's see. Right now, I will put up the uh, map that uh, Jacinta B, the agronomist, gave me as a plan, and we will kind of go from there. So, here's how the map would look that Jacinta B and I came up with. This is a long, this is, you know, this might not all happen the first year, it all depends. But let's start down to the farm. 34, 134, I have planted corn in there that is growing, so that's my plan for that. 133, I did the contract on it. I do not own 133, but it is in my bucket list. So that is potato. No, we're not growing pot. Don't get all excited. We're not pot farmers. It stands for potato. 19 and 12 have not been planted. I do own 12, so I'm going to plant soybeans in that. I'd like to add 19 to my list and plant soybeans in there as well. 8 and 7, I do not own, but are planted right now with good soil composition. That would be sugar beet. The same thing with rye. 14 and 17, I do not own, and they are not planted, so I'd have to plant 14 and 17 as well. 86 up here, that we did that contract on it. I do not own it, but that has been potato. 74, I do not own, but there is poplar growing in... Poplar. Poplar. Uh, poppy. Poppy! In there, I would like that. 83, 81, 82. They are all growing. I did the fertilizing contracts on them. 83, 81 is spelt, and 82 is corn. And the same thing over here. I did, I did contracts, 103, 104, 105, 105. They are all growing. 105 is poppy, 104 is rye, 103 is corn. So that is my wish list for this. Now, the land that I want to buy that I don't own, 
about nine hundred and fifty thousand dollars. So that's going to be a bit of a, a bit of a pickle. But right now, I think the main two. Oh crap! Oh, there, American Truck Simulator. I don't know how I did that. But <laughs> sorry about that. But right now, my main two focuses right now is one thirty three. I need it because I need that land for um, the trees, my road. And nineteen is the same thing. So I think I'm going to buy one thirty three and nineteen right now. So, let's see, if I go into my map, I have, right now I've got, what do I have in there? I've got $340,000. I'm maxed out on my loan, so I'm, I'm stuck there. But, 133, like I said, I do need, because I want to make my road and make, my, make some money in the logging. And that's my big plan. I planted potatoes in there. They're going pretty good. So, I am going to buy 133 and 19. 19 and 12. 12 is ready to be planted. 19, I got to look to double check, see what it needs. But I want that for the land acquisition. So that would be there. So that's the farm as it stands right now. I've got $182,000 left in the bank. What would be the other big one to buy would be the good question. Um, 17 and 14 is one block of land, two parcels. That's right. I could afford to do that. I don't think I can afford any of these ones up here. Well, 63 and 64, so I could do both of those. 105 is a big chunk of land, $187,000. But those are those are already been planted, so I think I want to focus on the ones that have not been planted yet so I can get them in the ground. So I think I'm going to buy 17, 14. Rye is going to go in there. So that will be pretty good. Now I'm down to 123000 so I don't. I wouldn't have anything else to plant. I'd have 19 to plant, 12 to plant, 14 to plant, 17 to plant. Because everything else has been planted. Now these two sugar beet fields, 48,000. I have enough to buy that. I could buy them. What else is small that I need? That I wanted to buy? 86 is potatoes. That's 100. And, that's 96. 96. Nope. I'm just. I'm short there. Um, 82 is one parcel for 50. 83 is one parcel for 45. 81. Oh, crap. I didn't think about that. 81 and 89 are together. I might have to do something, do some figuring there. 74 is 55. Tell you what. Let's buy 74. I can do that. And then we'll buy 7 and 8. 48. Yeah. And that still leaves me right now with $19,000 that I can um, use for... I don't know. Stuff I need. So basically, that's pretty good. I've got 19 and 12 to get soybeans in. I got 17 and 14. Which, you know what? I, I bet I could combine those. They're not planted yet. I bet I could combine those two together and plant one big rye field. Yeah, I might as well do that too. So we got a lot of work to do. Holy buckets. I, here I thought that I was going to have a little bit of a breather. We got a lot done today. <laughs> but now it's beginning to look a little bit hectic in the uh, the work window so <coughs> tomorrow excuse me holy crap i got a uh, susquehanna mosquito in my mouth <coughs> oh god i swallowed i swallowed the whole family <coughs> oh god that's gross i'm coughing them up sorry about that i better drink a beer or something uh, so yeah so that's that's i think that's a good plan we are well on our way with our plan now like i said we might not holy crap are you still on there stay on there uh we might not get all of those fields acquired this first year. I would I, I would be very skeptical if we could do it. It depends on how our firewood and our logging stuff goes because that's going to be... Oh, crap, we, still, we have apples. I could sell a couple loads of apples. There's a little extra money in the bank. So I think the ones we got is a good way to go because I got I, I got the two surrounding my wood project. I needed, I needed to have those two fields. And then... Um, you know, when you get up to these three fields here, it is a trek. It is a little bit of a trek to get up there. You kind of got to go around the valley here and around the river. Anyways, so I think that's I think that was a good plan. I think that is a uh, a good way of doing things. I'm pretty happy with that. We'll get the rye in the ground, and we'll get the uh, holy. You, you know what? Holy buckets! I better make sure I can do that. Um, rye. Oh yeah. Oh crap. Oh crap. Today is, a, is today the fifth day or the sixth day? Today's only the fifth day, right? Oh, God. <laughs> I thought today was the sixth day. Okay, I still have tomorrow. Oh, man. I was going to do some late night planting there, but holy buckets. No, it'll be good. 
we'll be good. So we're still good in that. We still have one more day to get, uh, well, tomorrow we should be able to get the two soybean fields done and the two rye fields planted. And then everything is planted. We can put the planters away for the year. You know, matter of fact, even if we wanted to trade them in or sell them off for a little extra working capital, we could do that too. We won't need them until next year. Because the other fields that Jacinta B and I came out on our list are fields that have already been planted. And they're growing. I've been doing contract work on them. That's why we picked them and came up with our rotation. Did I show you our rotation? I'll show you the rotation. Um, the rotation is as follows. Yeah, I think I did. Rotation A, potatoes, poppy, rye. Rotation B, sugar beet, corn, soybean, spelt. Rotation C, alfalfa, and oat, which I'm going to work on the second year because I don't think I'll get to that this year. So that is our rotation. We do have that going on. But right now, we are just coming across the river here. we got to cross the freeway right by the Bell Cell Point, and we're coming up to field 80. I'm going to unload this thing. I'm going to get that sprayed and have that contract done by midnight. That's 6000 bucks in thy bank. So I got a long way to go. I bought... What, $320,000 worth of land just now? We're maxed out. Keep that in mind, though. We are maxed out at $885,000 on our loan. Plus, I owe Adrian, my good friend Adrian. I can't leave him in the wind. I owe him hundred grand too, so holy buckets. Uh, I'm in trouble. I might I might be in trouble, but I'm kind of I'm kind of got my fingers crossed that this little wooded road-building logging adventure is going to pay handsomely. That's what I'm kind of figuring out. And then, of course, when it, if we do get this worked out, it does come to be the fall harvest time. We should make some good money on all our flour production we're going to do, syrup, corn syrup, ethanol, and um, our sugar. Yeah, experimental sugar beets, a new variety. That's a hybrid. Give the hybrid here, growing, growing sugar beets in New York. I'm one of the first farmers in the whole state of New York to uh, experiment with this, but we'll see. Okay, did I miss a turn? No, i got to go this way here. you got to go left. Ray, are you still on there? Yes, it is. Good job. So, I'm going to knock this out. We're coming up to field 80 here. Just got to go across the uh, freeway here. And then we will be up to field 80. I'll get it unloaded. You better stay there, car. And uh, we'll get this field knocked out. Let's see. We should be, just be coming up to it right now. Uh, oh, right, oh, I got to go around the corner here by the Bill Cell Point. And um, Dollar. Oh, there, oh there, goes, there goes the sprayer. Oh, no. It stayed on there. I tell you what, this sprayer in this trailer does a pretty good job in this pickup. Like I say, you just watch your speed, you know, don't do any sudden movements, and you're pretty good. Let's see, is this the field here? Uh, nope, one more. Stay away from the brick wall there, that's that's important. One more and I should be good. Yeah, gotta, I got to cross the river. Field 80 is, yeah, across the pond here. So we'll cross the creek, we'll pull in here, we'll get this unloaded. I'll knock this one off real quick, 6000 bucks, and then we can... Um, Head back to the farm for a night, take it easy, and we got another full day of work in the morning. Oh, a little grass field next to here. This is kind of nice. This is kind of nice. This was not a field. This was a field that I... Oh, oh there's a fence there. <clears throat> oh, I bet I'm in the trigger zone, am I? Holy crap, I'm moving fast. I got my fast boots on. I didn't mean to have my fast boots on. Uh, well, oh, we're shaking. We're doing a little shaking. A little shake, rattle, and roll there. But we'll pull into here. We'll get this done. I'll get this knocked out. And um, I will see you bright and early in the... Oh, holy buckets am I just moving right along. I feel like that wackadoodle with his fast boots on. Come on. Jump into this jump into this prayer. It's crying out loud. I tell you what. Uh, whoa, gotta go backwards. Gotta go backwards. There we go. Late night spraying here for the uh, Land Baron the Nitro Dad. Let's see, how should I do this here? Probably just start over here and go around the corner. I have 83% of fertilizer left in here from the two totes. Uh, I should have enough, I think, to do this field. Let's make one lap around here, and we'll be good to go. I should have enough. If not, I'll have to call VT or or uh, Sophie and have them bring me down some fertilizer. But I think it should be all right. Anyways, and now I've leveled on enough for the opening here. Um, I will see you bright and early in the morning, and um, we'll kind of go from there. Cheers, my friends. Good morning there, my friends. How the heck are you this morning? We have been busy down here in building our road. We got some trees removed. I got some uh, firewood stacked up there in the pallets. And we've had some gravel hauled in. Look at that. So we're getting our road done. We uh, got some logs on the flatbed trailer. I'm going to take it down to the sawmill. And I'm going to see 
what kind of a price we have for that. The lever is working awesome. It's the stump grinder there and the grapple forks to load the logs. But that's pretty good. I'm, I'm pretty impressed. 8.43 in the morning. Everybody is hella. It's all hands on deck. I have got Sophie planting soybeans in field 12 right over yonder. And VT took the uh, 155 white and the cedar and took that down to field 14. And he finished 14 this morning and was wondering if I wanted to do some work and combining the two fields before he continued or not. Plus, I got to go get bring him some seed. And down at the dealership, Ken Jorgensen told me, hey, back off, man. Um, there is an old John Deere seed tender slash utter wagon for sale down there, and he thought I'd be interested in that. But this road is working out perfect. I got logs on the back. We'll see how they uh, turn onto the sawmill, what kind of a price we can get. The sawmill, I called, I called them down this morning, and I said, hey, you guys taking in any logs in? He said, oh, absolutely, we like to make paper. So, that is what I'm doing. I guess they're doing some kind of a special brand of TP. Yep, there you go. So, we'll take this down to the sawmill. The good thing about that is the sawmill is just right by our farm here. Oh, that's a little rough coming down there. A little rough coming down there, but we'll make it. So it's not that bad of a drive. So we'll head down to the sawmill. We will sell the logs and see what we get. $17,000 in the bank. I lost a little bit overnight. Plus, I've had to pay for gravel. Is this the front tires off the ground? No, we're okay. And so I'm down to $17,000. I was at twenty six dollars after the last contract, but we'll be okay. Now, that auger, that auger wagon is $18,000. So... Oh, I'll have to hopefully make some money off the logs here. And I think I have another pallet I could sell, too. That's about 7000 bucks. I did have to spend a little bit of money. I had some more seed brought in from Fox Farms. So that's a little bit of cash. So things are just, you know, it's going, you know what? Let's just park on the side of the road here real quick. I'm going to do this real quick. And uh, we'll see. I'm kind of curious because of the new day. If I can uh, hop the fence, if I can sell another pallet of firewood, because I'll have a lot more pallets of firewood to go, and I'm kind of I'm kind of disappointed that if it's, if it's only one... We'll just run. I got my running boots on. If it's one pallet a day, that kind of really puts a damper in things, doesn't it? Yeah, look at that. I can't sell any more firewood. So how long does it take for the firewood to sell? I'm wondering. That's just kind of, that's kind of a bummer. I mean, it was full, but how often does it take to... Uh, I don't know. You know, I don't. They're, they're not that much money. Maybe I should put in another one. You know what? I'm, I'm just going to do it. I, I, I could have gone out and did it, but I'm just going to do it here. I just want to see. Um, no, where are they? They. I thought they were under miscellaneous. Where are they? It's not under forestry. No, it's under miscellaneous, I thought. Or is it under... Oh, it's under this thing under miscellaneous. There you go. Ten bucks. So they're only ten bucks. Let's see. Can I get another one in here? Um... I'm just kind of confused. Maybe somebody knows how often, come on, how often you can sell firewood. There, there's another Billy. That one's a little crooked. Ah, we'll go over it. There you go. 8310 bucks. Holy buckets. So I can do one more pallet, but when does that one disappear? I mean, how often can, I don't know. It doesn't matter. I play along with that too much. 10 bucks for 8300 bucks. That'll work. I can put it in more sheds too if I have to. 10 bucks a shed. Holy buckets. Jump the fence. In the truck we go. The wrong door, apparently. And we'll head down on the sawmill. So hopefully this will give us a little bit of cash, too. But like I said, that auger wagon's uh, 18000 bucks. We have enough now to go down there and pick that up. I was, you know, Sophie in the uh, planter is from field 12 is just driving back to the farm and loading up seed. But, oh, no, somebody's out of seed. I bet Sophie's out of seed now, too. So, but, you know, field 14, 17 is kind of a ways away. I, I didn't really want them to keep driving back and forth all the time. So I thought, ah, man, I'll just get a, I'll look for an auger wagon. And Ken said, hey, I got one here. So we're good to go that way. But like I said, the best part about down here is the, the sawmill is just right here. So I got to take a quick left, and then we cross the bridge into the sawmill, and we can uh, sell these logs and see how it goes. Hopefully we get some decent money. Now, this is three trees. I think it's two pine and one oak tree is what we have with this stuff. So that's not too bad. I don't, you know, I don't have any fancy sides on my trailer, so I can't stack them up that much. But uh, this is just more of a curiosity's sake. Oh, crap. Stuck on the bridge. Uh, if it's if it's worth more than firewood. It's got to be worth more than firewood. And I don't know. I should do an experiment. One tree of firewood. Or one tree and see how much... Oh, no. I bottomed out. Let's get a run at it. Come on. Oh, the jack stand hit on the trailer. Oh, that sucks. 
My jack stand's not high enough. It's bottom up. Hold on. Just had to get that thing jacked up a little higher. That's all it was. Okay. So we'll pull it here. I think we're just going to go right alongside here. And they should sell. And we'll see how much money we get. 25423 bucks in the bank. I, I got to get busy here. We got lots of planting going on. I got to get more money. I got all this stuff going on here. It's going to be a dandy of a day. Let's see. We'll just pull alongside here. They'll uh, take this stuff off for us. Take the straps off. They're going to go flying everywhere. Yep. There they go. Okay. Big, big money, big bucks, no whammies. Big bucks, no whammies. Come on. I need to make some money here. Maybe not. What? Why? What's going on here? Sell wood. Sell wood. It's not selling my wood. You don't like my wood? Why are you not selling my wood? I want to sell wood. Oh, come on! Sell my, sell my damn wood! It's not selling my wood. Um, do it need to be on the other side? I don't know. Let me play around here. Okay, okay. The logging supervisor came out and told me, I, you, dude, you're parked in the wrong spot, wackadoodle. I said, okie dokie then. So I had to move down here towards the uh, pond where they put all the logs in there and then bring them up into the log mill. So we'll go over here and we'll see how much we get. Hopefully, it is a good chunk of change. Twenty-five thousand four hundred twenty-two bucks in the bank. I was gonna run. I gotta run. I, I could use some more exercise. I tell you what, so much Mountain Dew in my life that I'm uh, I'm getting a belly. I am getting a belly. But here goes nothing. Come on, big bucks, no whammies. Twelve thousand seven hundred and forty-two bucks. Not too bad. Not too bad, 38165 in the bank, so we're going to keep going with our little road there and uh, try to make some cash. So now I'm trying to think here, what would be the next course of action? Because we bought field 19 and 133, 19 and 12 got to be planted, 17 and 14 got to be planted. So basically all the other fields on my list are fields that are planted right now. So we do have time to purchase them. Um, 81 would be probably the next one, but that's $125,000 because 81 comes with 89. I don't know if uh, Nitro Dad, the land baron, has anything going. What's on 89? Oh, it is growing. What is it? Um, what, co what, what color is that? Um, oh, that's about to be spelt too then. Oh, look at that. We are, we are growing spelt. Oh, that'd be perfect. That'd be perfect. Oh, buckets, that'd be a good one. Okay, so $122,000. Well, it doesn't really matter. I mean, that's that's still, um, it's growing already, so we don't have to worry about planting that. We just got to finish the soybean planting and the rye planting. Well, let me get back to the farm. I'm going to get this uh, trailer dropped off, and then um, I'm going to head down to the dealership. I'm going to buy that. Oh, God, I got to buy that wagon, 18. Let's see. Take a look at that here. How much is it? Um... Down at the dealership, there's this John Deere 650, 18,000 bucks. There's no cover on it, but you know what? That would be good too. It's it's not bad. It's not bad at all. I mean, it's it's 18,000 bucks. I don't think anything else cheaper. Uh, no, that's 39. The Seed Runner is only, is 20, but this but if I bought the auger, I could use that during harvest too. Oh wait, can you buy some extensions for it? Oh look at that, I can up the. 20, so that's $24,000. That's a little more than I want to spend, but it's not bad. Plus, it hauls seed. I can haul seed out. Well, I'll just do the, uh, I'll just transfer the money right now to Ken Jorgensen down at Tractor World, and I can go pick that up. So, $13,565 in the bank. I still have two um, firewood pallets that are nearly full. So, I can sell both of those. That's $14,000. i am going to have my whole yard full of those little wood shit. Wood <laughs> <laughs> the, um, the, 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 the log shed. Yeah, I'm going to have them all full of firewood, is what I'm trying to say. Anyways, I'll see you back in a bit. All right, I got the uh, seed wagon here, and it's hooked up to the cat because it's got a PTO on it. There was no PTO in my pickup, and I didn't think my pickup would pull it. So the cat's not being used right now, and we'll just uh, put some seed in here. I don't know how much seed I need. I feel like I can bring the rest 
back, but um, we'll just, uh, I don't know how much is left in here. I had some more delivered. Oh, yeah, 2,900. Um, so let's see, how much? It's like 2,000. That, 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 no, that cedar only holds 1,000. So I'm only going to put, I'll just put 10,000 liters in here. That'll be plenty. And hopefully the, um, it works that we can uh, unload into that cedar. That's kind of my thought here. We'll just play that and see how it goes. Yeah, we'll just go 10,000. Okay, close enough. And we'll take this up to field 14. 1417. Now, he wanted me to look at field 1417 to see if I wanted to join them together, but I'm kind of thinking not. Uh, it's, it's, they're not square, so they kind of go around an island of rocks and water. And down the road, if I ever wanted to plant, you know, something different, I don't have, you know, there's a little grass strip in there. Not all the way across the whole field, just part of it. So I think that'll be just fine and dandy. I, I don't think I'm going to plow them together because then I have to get the plow down there, plow up that little grass strip, and then I have to probably align it. So I'm just going to leave it as it is, I think. We can take a look at it when we get there. But I think that's kind of the best course of action right now. Coming up on field 1417, VT had to run home real quick. I think he had to go help his grandma bake some cookies or something like that. But we'll um, we'll get started. We'll get the uh, cedar filled up. I'll probably do a couple of headlands here. This is field 14. So that's already been planted. He did a good job planting that. And then you see the little grass strip here. And then field 17 is on the other side. That has not been... Uh, oh, crap. I got to go all the way down here to get the... Uh, where the gate is. So this is 17. We're going to plant that now. Uh, direct drill cedar with just our little drill, our press drill, so we don't have to uh, cultivate that or anything. And it does not need to be limed nor plowed. So these two fields are in good shape. Part of the reason why uh, Jacinta and I decided that these would be some good course of actions for us. So we'll get the auger up there on this John Deere 650 cart with our little wooden extensions, and we'll hopefully be able to... Um, Unload into the cedar here. Please work. Please work. This is a, this is a lot of work if you're not gonna work Come on Come on Aha, there we go finally something works around here So I'm gonna leave the uh, tractor right there. I probably should let that cool down a little bit We'll leave that right there because I'm gonna need more I think as we go um, Like I said, it kind of goes around an island. So all there is is this little grass strip here in between the two fields and then 17 goes around to the back side of that little island and 14 goes a little little bit beyond it but so i'm going to leave these two grass strips just in case i mean it's, it's you know it's not that big of a deal and we'll just kind of start that puppy up get that cover close there oh yeah that works perfect yeah 1000 liters is all i can put in this little um little cedar now there is an upgraded version uh, there's a bigger version down at the dealership that I've been looking at and I'm kind of contemplating that but This is the last field that I have to plant with this thing. So maybe for next year uh, You know cause we'll have a lot more land to plant next year So maybe keep this one this one looks pretty good with the, with the white uh, 155 and then get a second one so We'll probably have to work on getting some more equipment for next year. I would imagine so let's just do a couple headlands here Yeah, we'll have to because we have a lot more to plant next year a lot. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, you don't plant? You don't direct seed? Oh, no. You're supposed to. You stupid, stupid cedar. Oh, why wouldn't that direct drill in there? It's a, it's a drill. It would. Oh, that's just going to chap my petunia. Um, where are you? It doesn't say. That's dumb. Now I got a cult. Oh, man. Okay. I might be making a change here real quick right now. Uh, I could have swore that thing. It should. It should. It's dumb. Stupid. Okay. Let's see. Here's the one I got. Yeah. doesn't say. And that one doesn't say either. See? Now, here's the egg co one. The egg co Machine off, yep, it direct, direct, direct seed. This one, no, 4.3 meters, 4.3 meters, 20,000, 46,000. Well, heck, heck, that might not be a bad idea. I could sell this and buy a Massey. I wonder where, where do they come in? 
Um, that's not bad. There, I direct drills. I, I knew that the other one should. Voltra, Massey. Well, I'll go transport. Yes, transport. Does that mean that you can? So that would be twenty-four thousand. I can sell the other one for forty-six. Why did I do that in the first place? I kind of like this case, though. This case, 6200, is international, 6200. Yeah, yeah, moves in there and all kinds of stuff going on. This thing should. It should. It, I mean, it should. In the real world, it should. But, well, yes, I'll take this down to the dealer. I'll empty it out. Okay, I can empty it out, can I? Um, yeah. <coughs> there we go. Empty the seat out. So I might as well take this down to the dealership and trade it in. I'll have a little extra cash, but we'll do that next time. We'll do that next time. Ah, you don't need to see me do that. We'll check. We'll, we'll get. We'll get that set up for VT. We'll get him going, and uh, we can kind of go from there. But anyways, I think that'd be it for today. I kind of blabbed on long enough, and uh, I want to get this done before <laughs> before it gets too late on this fun and outstanding uh, Tuesday afternoon. But anyways, hope you're having a great day. Stay safe and healthy, my friends, and keep them between the ditches. So long.